We began the news at five with breaking news. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. A one year old boy has died after police say he found a loaded gun inside of his home. Tonight, police are looking for that weapon and its owner. Now, this happened just before one o'clock this afternoon at the River Heights condos, not too far off Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue in Southeast. Our Delia Gonzalez is there live right now with the latest. And what an awful story, Dee. A devastating scene here in downtown Anacostia, and I have to tell you, Zoe, just moments ago, the family have since returned, and you could hear the mother wailing in the background. This family is simply destroyed over the carelessness, disregard from another person. Police say this person brought a loaded gun into a home with a child in it, and they say in the moments of this final moments of this baby's life, instead of helping, police say this person chose to run and hide the weapon. Listen. This is what it sounds like when an innocent baby loses his life because someone left a loaded gun nearby. It breaks my heart that we have to stand here on the eve of Thanksgiving. And as you've heard, you know, relatives crying out in despair because this child has lost his life as a result of someone's either carelessness or recklessness. Either way, it's unacceptable. Police say the shooting happened just before 1 p.m. inside the River Heights condos in Anacostia. Contractors working on a home across the street heard the cries for help. We heard a gentleman run out the door and scream, my baby's been shot. Somebody called an ambulance, so I called an ambulance right away, was on the phone with him, told him the address where to come to. Um, he ran over there just to try to start CPR. This is something I'll never forget till the day I die. When I when I ran in there, I was a little afraid for my life because I didn't know what I was walking into. And then when I, uh, I mean, I don't mean it to say too much, but uh, when I walked through the door, I saw the woman holding like, a lifeless baby. But I wanted to do CPR, and I saw the blood coming out of her of his mouth. And um, yeah, I started shaking. Um, uh, we do know that at least one relative, possibly more, uh, were in there with the child at the time of this. A man believed to be a relative reacts in anger, kicking out the windows of a car parked outside. Police say they are looking into the owner of that car. Is that the owner of this particular firearm? Is that linked to your investigation in any way? It is linked to our investigation, and that's a possibility that we're investigating. No! <laughs> And as police search for that person, detectives console family members on a loss that hurts so deep and never should have happened. The day before Thanksgiving, you know, the family's going to have to, you know, have dinner without their little baby boy. It's hard. And my prayers go out to the families. Just simply heartbreaking. It is unclear what charges this person will face when police finally do catch up with him. But I have to tell you, this comes just one day after Chief Conti announced a cash reward program to help get these guns off the street. But as the chief told us today, you can't put a price on this baby's life. So, yeah, got to let that sink in. A one year old baby gone because of something like this. And then that person is careless and heartless and takes off afterwards. Delia, that's a lot to take in. Thank you so much. We know you'll stay on top of this. All right, so how often?